Hey, I invited my friend Neil from Kof Dig Drive DIY. That's right. This job here, cutting up this huge tree in my woods, too much work for me. I needed an expert. Neil's here because he's an expert. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Neil, how do you want to attack this? Well, I think we need to start down here on the end and try to get as much of the brush loose of the logs we want to keep. We'll chunk these down into about eight foot pieces so you can haul them out of here with your yeah. compact tractors. And then once we get into this monster, we'll cut them as big as what you can carry. Yeah. We have, right now we have one grapple and one set of forks we'll use. Okay. So I imagine we probably ought to get the, the little brush with the grapple the best we can. And uh, I may go get a tractor and forks because it looks to me like you're going to be able to saw faster than, uh, than yeah. I can. Hey, I want to show you something. You're one of these big gas powered guys. I, I would like to get your feedback uh, on one of these battery try. saws. Yeah. I've always wanted to try one. Yeah, this one, well, there's a little bit, to, first of all, with a battery powered saw, you probably already know this, but some of the viewers don't. The chain break is critically important. This is our only switch. Okay. Right? So it won't run. We don't have the. You, you know, you, you, you know with a gas saw to stay away from it when you hear it running. Sure. But this one, you're a click away from running it, right? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're standing here, and if the chain break is off, I'm, I'm going. It's hot. So to me, I, I'm very careful gotcha. about using the chain break on this saw. Now, this one, got the chain break on, is the 200 uh, MSA 200C. It's only got a quarter inch wide chain. See that? Okay. So it might pinch a little bit easier. The other one that I've got is a 220. Okay. And it uses the same battery. And it's got, a, I think, a 3 8 inch wide, or maybe it's a 5 16 I don't know. A little bit wider chain. I want you to try them both. Sure. And see which one you like the best. I have a preference, and it might surprise you. Yeah. Because I'd love to try it. Well, notice how light it is. I'm a newbie. Is. That's with battery. That's nice. Now, the only thing you have to remember on these things is to stop once in a while to fill them up with uh, chain oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's. Because they don't run out of gas to let you know you need to change. Yeah, on. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. That's... Well, very good. Well, we should get going on some of this brush and give uh, Brian there something to do, I guess. Okay, and I'll go get Johnny. All right, sounds good. This is the most deceptively light wood I've ever seen. this stuff firewood size yet? Uh, yeah, this could be. I mean, it doesn't have to be either. We got enough wood. Yeah, just break it right there. The rest of it, I guess I'll be a little picky on since we got it. My father-in-law would shoot me for... Throwing some of those away? Yeah. <laughs> but they're actually, it's really light. It's actually pretty, pretty dead. See how hollow that limb is right yeah. there? Hopefully we can get some big ones to split with the backhoe. Tell us a little bit about what you do on your channel, Dig Drive DIY. Well, Dig Drive DIY was a name to try to encapsulate everything I do because I don't have one specific thing. I cut a lot of firewood because we heat our home with firewood. I heat my workshop with firewood. And um, so I do some of that, but I have a backhoe and I dig, do some weekend projects and some side jobs. I do a lot of side work. And I also have two little compact tractors. I've got the older 755 models. I've got two of them. and. Uh, One's got a loader, one doesn't, but I get into all kinds of fun side gigs with those as well. So that's what I do on the channel. Every once in a while I'll throw in a, a snowmobiling video or a video of me putting up a swimming pool for my two kids. Can you whack? Okay, I'm going to try to get some of these overhead because that's going to be a challenge. It's just an eclectic mix of stuff. All of that stuff, I've enjoyed every bit of it, but what I've enjoyed that you didn't mention was the family interaction. Yeah. Um, not only your two girls are just sweet as can be, and, and, and your wife, and but also you've had some extended family. In. Sure. And, yeah, my uh, in-laws are in, involved in a lot of the stuff we do. I'm, I'm really fortunate to live very close to my in-laws and my parents and my brother, and, and uh, it's just a nice close-knit group of people, and we're all over at each other's houses yeah, all the time. It it's an excuse to be together, but you're getting some work done, and you don't realize at the time while you're immersed in it that it's something that's going to be a memory down the road. And I should be letting you do an, have you done a grapple before? 
I should let you use the grapple. You know, it's a it's a character building activity, and it's just a it's just something that all around is good for the whole family. Still here, man. You need one of those, Troy. My ER backyard would look a lot better if I had one of these. <laughs> I'm afraid if we don't get this one down, it's going to hang up this big limb. And so I'm going to cut it so it can go when I go up there to do that. Is that all right? Yeah. I think she looks a little peaked anyway. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to make it. What do you think, Neil? Can we get to a point where we can get Brian some logs pretty quick here and then work on some of that later? Yeah, sure. Yep, let's do that. Well, I think we can get, I think we're not too far away. We're from... not too far away. I just, I hate to have anything overhead when we start working on the trunk. Yep. So if I can get this and, and those two that are hanging out down, then I'll feel better about chopping some logs. Okie doke. Okay, this should take that tree down. All right, I'm gonna be on this side of this limb so that if it gets wonky, it can hopefully protect me a little bit. I have to get a big saw. Okay, I don't like that about this saw. It, it stalls out while you're, like I needed the saw to keep going. And it, it scared me that the saw was stopping. I wanted to have power to just go. And the saw was quitting, and then I can't control the cut as much. So that's that's the only thing I've seen that I don't like. I think I get into that big of wood, I should use the other saw maybe. I'm just gonna cut this off here and get this down. I'm gonna get the big saw for that. Let me cut that up so you can you guys can move that and then I'll jump up here. That opened up some space. Yeah. So you've tried the 200, this is a 200, right? And you've tried the 220. Yeah, I've tried them both, yeah. Which one do you like best? I tell you, this one is my favorite right now. It's got, the littler bar makes it just keep going without stalling out as easily. Okay. And it feels like it has more power even despite the number. Yeah, I don't know what 200 and 220 really mean, but I think it's because of the bar width. Yep, I it, agree. It just, this one feels like it has more power. It just keeps right on going. I stalled the other one out quite a few times when I really wanted it to keep going and power through the last bit of a cut. So I would choose this one right now with a small bar. Yeah. They're both great saws though. I would, uh, I'm gonna have to tell my wife why I need this so badly. <laughs> well, you know, these batteries can be used in a bunch of other Hey, now that's the sale right there. It has to be. These batteries are expensive, but uh, you can run these. There's a push lawnmower. Oh, really? Weed eater, that combi system, you yep. know, with the, the power broom and, and all that. Tiller. Yeah, okay. those same batteries are working all those. We've, we've got several different tools, so that makes a, at least some yeah. advantage. So, And we're on our first battery for this whole thing, right? With each of these saws? Yeah, both saws, first battery. It's incredible. And this one's still showing two dots. Yeah, two out halfway. Of four. Wow. So its battery beats my battery. Yeah. <laughs> it outlasts me easily. Well, I'm going to cut this off and that one right there. Okay. And I'll cut that big one off. I'm going to have to, I'm going to use my big saw for that. Not that saw, but. I got a 362. If you, you've probably got something like that though, don't you? Uh, that one's an 036 Pro. Yeah, it's an old timer. I bought it brand new in 1998. That was my biggest purchase to date in, in 1998, it was a $500 saw. Okay, I bet that was hard to get past the finance committee. <laughs> I didn't have a finance committee then. Oh! I, buy, I just didn't have any finances. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this may be more than a load for me. I was afraid that load's gonna to be too big for Johnny. I believe he's doing all right. Uh, 
That's decent wood now. Yeah, that one's not too bad. There might be a log where you're standing that's his diameter. Yeah. I'll probably get that one off the, try to get that one off the end first. Hell yeah. Now see, I keep pulling the trigger thinking I can start this thing. <laughs> The habits, the habits now, yeah. Yeah, I keep grabbing the trigger. Sorry about it. that. I should have never let you run it. Yeah. Right. Plus, I need these too. <laughs> yeah. Heavy. Nice. Can you saw it? I'll be back in a second. Could it be cut? He may want it a little longer. We'll figure out a way to get it out of here if I have to. Well, I'd cut it back to do that. We'll give him a long one. I think I can get it out of here dragging it backwards somehow. <laughs> you do it. Put it in there sideways. Yeah, I can do that endways. My friend Brian has a small sawmill. It can handle up to 24 inch logs. So he wanted some of these logs from the middle here to use for some craft projects that he's working on. That was perfect. Christy. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's a pretty good test. Wow. Now I want one of those. <laughs> you bend it. I can't believe that'll hold that. Neil, you can get one at artillion.com. I love it. This right here is going to take all that 36 inch bar, but here behind this limb, that's, that's under three feet. But I want to get a, no, a couple nice bucks out of this. I want to get this off of here yeah. and all these big ones because I don't, I hate working under them. Let's see if I can get this stuff down over the top of my head, okay. then I'll work on these.
It eats right through it. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, where should we cut this one? I think I'm gonna cut the Dornix off of this guy. Yep. What'd you call that? Dornick. The Dornick. Dornick, I, it's just a... Okay. That's a rule word like thingamajig, I think. Yeah, 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 okay. The Dornick, I think mom says Dornick. Grandpa Schaefer probably said Dornick. A new word, how do we spell Schaefer. it? I have no idea. Door, Nick. Yeah. Dornick, that's a Dornick. That's probably what it is, Dornick, yeah. <laughs> like when you're carrying something and it's gonna nick the door. Mm -hmm. That's what this is gonna do. It would nick the door. <laughs> So I'm gonna cut this off right here, and then I'll mark it. Well, I'll just cut them to where, you know, however wide you think you can get it out of here. Yep. And then well, we I can... think we can still. I think I can still haul these at normal width. Okay. There is one down here. We need to. We could probably cut this Dornick off of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a Dornick. <laughs> Catches on quick. <laughs> Now this log's bigger than I can pick up. So I hope it doesn't just take me over with it when it gets ready to fall. That'll be fun, won't it? Teasing aside, I want you to see just how much uh, safer this is with the grapple holding onto that log. We couldn't tell which way it was gonna fall, whether it was gonna fall toward Neil or away, but in this case, the grapple was able to hold onto it Neil was able to get out of the way, and we're able to safely get it down. I said it was bigger than I could lift. Fuck it down. Fuck it down. I believe I better uh, put it down. I got to get a better hold on it. Man, I am impressed with what that thing will do. I'm impressed with that. It does more than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, that's this is a load right here. I mean, this is all I can handle. <laughs> but it's also all, all I can physically squeeze, too, so. Yeah. This is quite a log, isn't it? This is quite a log. A log, log. You're selling me one of these grapples is what's happening. It's hard to be around one of these grapples without getting sold. So this one, see, is on a fork frame. I see that. So it's each module is, is independent, so you yes. can go with one or two or three clamps. Yeah. That's a load. Yeah. Man. You don't baby this thing at all. You don't baby it, do you? Well, I, I never do. No, I never do. So many people that have these, they don't want to use them. You know what I mean? I, I, I think that's part of why people watch it. So they like to see yeah. what all it'll do. That's what they're for, in my opinion. I mean, it, you know, once in a while it gets, once in a while it bites me. Once in a while I push it too hard and turn really? it off. But, you know, one thing I won't do is I won't go fast with this load no. because I don't want to tear up the front axle. As long as I go slow, I feel like I'm going to be fine. Yeah. But if I would get the thing to bounce it, yeah, it's really twisting. Yeah, that's a that's heavy. We're going to get the comment, and so I'll just ask you why didn't why didn't we try to find someone to? Well, to I asked use around a little bit, and a lot of the sawmills, at least around home where I live, they they try to harvest really clean lumber and a big oak tree that's near a property they try to shy away from because they almost always have metal in them of some sort. And usually a big oak tree are notorious for tree stand, tree stand paraphernalia, you know, the, yeah. the steps that you screw in. Yeah. That's why they were hesitant. But it's a beautiful log. Now I think someone with a, a hobby sawmill might be a different story because a bandsaw can tolerate that. But the big sawmills with the big diamond edged blades, they don't want to risk yeah. hurting their blades. Yeah, it makes sense. Now. We did have uh, Brian over here, and you might have seen earlier in the video, he had to take off. He wanted some of, the, some of it for logs for his small sawmill, but he could only handle two foot diameter. And this, well, even this long blade, how long is this blade? This is a 36 bar. But I really do appreciate it. I didn't know how I was gonna get it down. I don't have a saw this big. Yeah, well, I always look for an opportunity to use this saw too. I bought it for the same type of situation and thought, well, I'll get some uses for it in the future. And lo and behold, I get somebody from Here YouTube give me a call. 
Say, can you bump that top one's about all the way off? Start out easy, right? <laughs> well, we'll see here. You'll get it though, I think. You're almost there. Holy cow. That's all at once. I didn't mean for you to break the log. Too strong. <laughs> Neil, this was a huge tree. It was big. I mean, you had sent me a picture of it, but that didn't do it justice. I only sent you half of it. I was afraid you wouldn't come <laughs> if I sent you the whole thing. I might have. If you'd have parked the gator in front of it, it would have given it a better scope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we've got about six or eight feet down here we can't get. We might have to get a big backhoe in here or something to, to, to get it up it. out of know. there. Is this the very first time you've used a grapple? This is the first time I've used a grapple. Well, I've used one on a big, big tractor, okay. big backhoe, but okay. uh, not enough to, to get any feel for it. What's your thoughts? I am really impressed. Um, I thought it would be kind of flimsy and not be able to grab a hold tight. And I mean, I wouldn't have guessed that I could do this. This to me looked like skid loader work. Like when you said you're going to handle these pieces with this tractor, I thought, mm, I think they're going to be more than you think, Tim. But I was wrong because this thing is really impressive. Now it's all at once with this size log right here. I think this is all at once. Yeah, but we couldn't go to full height with this log. No question. No. And this is about all the farther I can get it off the ground really right now. But, but it was all the farther we needed. If you can get off the ground and get it out of there, the saw can make it smaller <laughs> <laughs> and the wood splitter. Yeah, and, and, and that's just it. Uh, a lot of people watch our channel and say, why don't you use a skid steer? Why don't you use a skid steer? A lot of projects that we do would be better with a skid steer. But half of the, of the destination path here that we were on so was right yard. through our yard. Sure. And we would have absolutely destroyed it with a yep. skid steer. I think that the tractors have come a long way in their versatility, especially with uh, attachments like this that just really diversify what you can get done. This was humongous. I, I tell you what... Uh, why don't you count the rings here? <laughs> I don't and know I'll... if we got enough daylight. <laughs> Jeez, oh. I well, mean, it's over a hundred. It's a bunch of them, isn't it? It's I mean, this tree's been here a long time. Uh, we're really sad to see it go. It was it was leaning when we got here. It had kind of uprooted a little bit, but this beach right by right behind it here was holding it up. And then a oh. windstorm came through last spring and and just ripped it apart. So. We're sad we've got a big empty spot now in our woods because the beach here has to go too. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just going to be, it's going to be sad. Folks, Neil is going to be a superstar. <laughs> I don't know now, about Now, the only challenge is it's difficult to figure out how to pronounce his name. It's K-O-C-H, but it's pronounced... Kof. Kof, as in rhymes, rhymes with... Rhymes with loaf. Loaf of bread, not laziness. Loaf. But he and his family are going to be superstars on YouTube, and I'm fortunate to, to get him to come over and help me cut up this tree before before it all goes to his head. Well, I really appreciate the opportunity. I mean, one of the greatest things that's come out of doing some YouTube videos is getting to meet some terrific people of like-mindedness because you enjoy tractors as much as I do and I enjoy your channel as a fan, so coming here was, was really a treat. I appreciate <laughs> it. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and I had the benefit of getting them to do a little work for me. A lot of work. <laughs> hey, I can give you directions to my house. Yeah, we probably need to fill up my trailer with a bunch of this wood and, and just haul it to your house. <laughs> hey, the road goes there. We can get there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, Time with, with Tim. Tim.